Hey guys, we have another fog match today. Today it's between Cleaner Code and Time Key. The map is Violent Mist. I've played on this map before. You can check it out on my other video. This time, uh, both players are playing Vesper. Time Key is playing the gray Vesper at the bottom, and Cleaner Code is playing the orange Vesper at the top side. So, I sped this up because there's actually not much going on here. It's a standard opening, but turn five is where things start to diverge. So Cleaner Code opts to go for a top capture with uh, his commander. So a lot of the times, if you send your commanders up to the side or in the corner, it'll be harder for the commander to get to the battle sooner. But you do get an uh, income lead and sometimes a groove lead as well and speaking of groove it's really important for Vesper to get her groove because her groove is very high impact and so you wanted to get it as soon as you can basically because as soon as you get it your opponent has to play very differently or else they'll be just completely destroyed by Vesper's groove and to those who doesn't know what Vesper Groove does, she places down a diamond with a radius of 3. And anything in that diamond, buildings, units, uh, whatever, cannot be targeted for attacks. So that means if you attack the enemy commander and surrounds it, and then you put the smoke on top of them, the enemy can't actually do anything about that unless they have like... Uh, Ragnar jump away or a bunch of hexes that damages so it only affects targeting but you units that units and abilities that don't actually target still affects the units inside okay so back to the game both players actually opt to go for a early night cleaner code actually went for an early thief as well as you can see and very, very strong in fog. Uh, thieves are very strong in fog because they could steal from a village and the opponent would take a really long time to get it back and the thief would have safety. So you get a lot of gold uh, generating from those guys. So Timegi right now has the center. She bullied out a couple of swords in the previous turn and now she has grouped up together and wants to control that center. Cleaner Code sees that so of course Cleaner Code is gonna bring down his commander so he goes aggressive this turn with three dogs hitting three swords this is very good for Cleaner Code since once you hit those three swords uh, time key would actually have to back off all the units are weakened so she can't actually compete in the center the dogs are still relatively healthy like they're 70% 90% so they could still fight and if you look at time keys uh, army it's actually mostly at the back everything in the front is damaged and everything stronger is at the back so she would have to uh, time key would have to back off. Okay, we see a thief from time key as well. Both players have the same idea. Just go for the thief capture, which I don't blame because it is very strong. Now, time key goes aggressive this turn, knowing that cleaner code has a lot of vision with the dogs and. A lot of movement to follow it up with maybe because he thought that the knight would give a bit more safety but as you know unit count is very important in fog so after cleaner code uh, cleans up uh -huh, cleans up the uh, fight I think time he has to back off or else he'll just lose a game like that Cleaner Code did get his archer online with the balloon, which is really important because now Cleaner Code has a very easy time controlling the center. 
And once you control the center, it's very hard for the opponent to actually group together their army. If they don't group together their army, then you'll be fighting at a number disadvantage. Okay, so Time Key does back off a little. He does get grooved this turn. He managed to hit a couple of units and a building from before. So he did he does have um groove advantage. Well cleaner code actually didn't hit much with his uh commander. So now both players are building up to like the bigger units. So cleaner code makes the first big unit of the game a golem. And both players made uh, preemptive mages, which is a good idea in fog, because if you're not prepared for air, uh, chances are you're gonna get wrecked. Okay, cleaner code uh, continues to build uh, very strong units. Uh, since he does have all the uh, vision he needs from the dogs in the center, he could afford to go for these stronger units that would transition into uh, late game. See how Time Key's army is kind of awkwardly separated by that body of water? This is because he can't actually move towards the center and group uh, the armies together. If Time Key can do that, then he would have a very strong force. But right now, Cleaner Code has most of his uh, units together. And that allows him to go for a lot more aggressive things. Now that dog movement was very big. Controlling that mountain lets uh, Cleaner Code see everything that's going on. Especially near the commander. So that move was well worth it. Even if Cleaner Code loses that dog, the information given was very, very uh, valuable. So Time Key has a small force uh, attacking the self. Okay, now he decides to go in, which is a very bad idea actually, because he's charging into the dark. While Cleaner Code still has a dog on that mountain, so he sees everything that's going on. So he sees that Archer, sees that uh, balloon with the units behind the buildings. Now Time Key does have relative safety in the headquarters it is a pretty strong force there but uh, as you can see cleaner code has all the vision he needs so he sees that vesper has overextended time he didn't have vision and he went aggressive so cleaner code sees that sacrifices some units to deal some damage gets a dog crit and finishes off with a knight hit and an archer hit it's a very good game from both players, even though we didn't get to see a Vesper group. That was a very good game played by both players. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.